Welcome back to another episode of The Larry O Show. Co-host, it's John Phelps. And I'm Larry O. We talk about everything FL Studio and music production related. We have another jam-packed show. We're going to be talking some more FL Studio news. I also have a theory on some FL Studio and plug-in stuff, like FL Studio Mobile slash plug-in stuff. I have a theory that I want to talk about, but we'll, we'll dive into that. Also, we have the giveaway. We have the massive FL Studio production course suite giveaway. We're going to be announcing the winners to last week's course giveaway. So there's going to be five winners announced in this episode. So stay tuned all the way to the end. We're going to be going over all that stuff. Also, yeah. keyword will be popped in somewhere in this podcast, so make sure you stay tuned for that as well to enter yourself into this week's FL Studio course suite giveaway. So yeah, I guess with that being said, we kind of just hop right into this FL Studio news. I don't know if you saw, but this is like some minor stuff. We also, we, we talked about the 21.3 update last mm -hmm. week, which is massive. Banger. That episode's going crazy yeah. right now. Like, you know, all the, the new features with the you know the major features that were there like those three major ones and the minor ones that we talked about all mm -hmm. really dope stuff there's now an fl studio beta 2 uh out remember i was talking about that last week how they normally go about like they'll do um beta one um, mm -hmm. the alpha is probably private right then beta is like the first public ish one that you can download the you know the beta version then they do a beta two they might do a beta three and then they go release candidate one two mm. And then it's out. I've never really seen a release candidate three, but that's how you, you know, that's usually the structure. I don't know if that's like a common tech structure, but that's just how I noticed with yeah. how they go about it. The news that I wanted to talk about was another FL Studio mobile update. And the big thing that they're talking about in the FL Studio mobile update 4.5 is tape stop. So there's a tape stop plugin inside FL Studio Mobile. There we go. I have it pulled up Arr. right here, and it looks pretty cool. It obviously like anything that's inside FL Mobile doesn't look anything like FL Desktop. Mm -hmm. It looks totally different. Which I think they should start incorporating like the what do you call it, the GUI or the UI, whatever they call that. You know, mm. the graphics into more like the desktop plugins because okay. I think they look so dope. This is what it looks like for everybody watching at home. It's you know just inside FL Mobile. I pulled it up in the channel rack inside FL Mobile right now. And the desktop, you can then go to the tab and you can add a module. You add a module right now, you can add the effects tape stop. And it does basically what you think it does. It's essentially what um, gross beat does when you go to momentary presets, then you go down and you you could do a vinyl on and a vinyl off. It's kind of yeah. like that, kind of like a mix between that. But you have way more options here. You have a sync option. You can warp up. You can go down. You have a start time wheel, a stop time wheel like tape. You know, it looks like kind of like an old school tape machine, just like a cartoon version of it. So I think it's awesome. But here's my theory. So what I noticed, I noticed I stumbled upon this, right? <laughs> I'm just like, you know, my nerdy my nerdiness is is coming through. I'm noticing what FL is doing, and this is maybe just recent. Maybe it's a coincidence, but Spreader, we talked about that last week. Yep. You know where that happened first? In mm. FL Mobile. Mm. They put it in FL Studio Mobile right. first. So they're, they're testing stuff out I in the mobile think, version and then rolling it into the desktop. That's and, what I yeah, think. That's what version. I think. So mm. FL Studio posted this, that they have the tape stop, right? Let me just pull this video up real quick. That's an interesting way to do it. I think it is. I don't I don't know if it's just something brand new, something that I've never right. noticed, but I just, you know, randomly just noticed that the other day and I'm like, yo, wait a minute. Like testing stuff out and its popularity within the mobile app. Yeah. I wonder, I mean, maybe that's got to be something in like their analytics, perhaps that they know like the usership is up in mobile. So like they're able to test out just mm -hmm. more stuff with what is going on in that specific app yeah versus is like just pumping it all into the regular uh like you know the regular version because you can probably i mean with a smaller sample size like what you've got with like mobile usership i would assume you're able to see like more of an uptick maybe with like everybody that's everybody that's using mobile is using the tape stop that accounts for like you know x amount of mm -hmm. like our usership in the normal like yeah quote unquote it's interesting version. because they could essentially do it the way they're doing everything else in beta yeah. So maybe it's just a coincidence type of thing. Maybe, yeah. But Spreader did show up in mobile first. Which so is now, interesting because, like, isn't, uh, well, oh, no. With phone speakers, you're dealing with mono signal. So not anymore. No? Well. Newer, like, I don't know when newer iPhones started doing it. Yeah. I want to say 10, maybe. 
But just like less defined. Yeah, it's definitely way. Yeah, it's definitely way less. Stereo field. And a lot of times is you have to like you have to turn your phone sideways to get the stereo. I do that shit all the time. Let me listen to it right here. It will stay in mono (laughs) if you're holding it upright like this. Yep, yep. It'll go stereo if you turn it sideways. Yeah. Which is kind of an awesome feature in a sense. And that's a different story. I'll turn it sideways and put it to my nose and just like listen to beats like that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. (laughs) Yep. You get that surround sound. (laughs) But yeah, so this is the video that FL posted i think a few days ago in this video we'll cover the new features and improvements in fl studio mobile 4.5 this update brings three great new effects tape stop plus wow and flutter and spreader a stereo enhancer tape stop emulates the pitch changes that come from slowing down or speeding up playback press play to hear the slow down effect of stopping the tape <laughs> tap play again Remember, you can automate this control while in Flutter. There are always That's variances cool. in playback speed, and often they're cyclical. Wow amount sets how intensely the speed changes affect. So I didn't even notice this. This is something else new, I guess. Uh, that I, for some reason, just... I, I heard tape stop, and I just, like, my mind blew. I'm like, oh, tape stop, tape stop. Oh, yeah. Which I don't even know affects wow and Flutter. So this is probably another one that's going to be coming. If my theory is correct, we're going to be getting a tape stop plugin separate from gross beat, because... I commented on FL's post. I commented on this post, and I was like, "Yo, can we get that mm-hmm. in a in a in a plugin in a in a dedicated separate plugin yeah. in the desktop?" And then I think like a few people commented on top of that, and they were like, "Yo, we got Gross Beat." I'm like, "Yeah, but that's different. Like, it's this, right. this is totally different than what you can do inside a Gross Beat for sure." So if my theory is correct, I think we're getting a tape stop plugin, and then maybe this Wow and Flutter plugin. That's yeah. huge. Flutter. Spreader. And there's spreader. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> he said spreader. And see how it looks v- like very similar to what yeah, we have on yeah. the desktop? I'm f- with it. It's cool. And creates is mono compatible. Happy music making. There he is. There's my comment right there. <laughs> Can we get this as a plug? <laughs> Can you get this? <laughs> <laughs> but yo. Yeah, I'm so, with that. That looks good. So that's my theory on that. That's my that's my theory. I, I'm loving this tape stop plugin. Yep. And obviously for the time being. You just open up FL Mobile and you can utilize it. And like he said in the video, you can also automate it because Mm -hmm. right now what it does is it just kind of just keeps going until it does eventually stop. So you would have to automate that. Right. And I'm not really sure if I like right click on something in here. Can I automate? I don't know. I don't. That's where you're going to run into something right now. If you're using Mm -hmm. just the FL Mobile, you can't right click. You know how you can right click on anything and automate it? You can't do it inside a plugin inside FL Mobile. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Because like how do you right click on your phone? Like would you touch screen with like both fingers or something like automation that, you know is different saying? in fl mobile yeah so you'd have to essentially create whatever you wanted to create inside fl mobile mm-hmm. and automate it within fl mobile and then maybe export it to audio it's a lot of work i think but yeah. if you really want whatever that feature is that's only fl mobile For i sure. mean there's there's your workaround you could do it you know mm-hmm. that's why they give you that capability with that plugin and i like how it looks too like i feel like the mm-hmm. theme between those two plugins that we see like i mean well the, the three of them really is that they they all look graphically very good. Yeah. You know what I mean? As yep. as opposed to other um other like stock plugins with FL mm-hmm. have traditionally been very like dry looking. Yeah. I like the reaction and the 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 yeah. movement incorporated into each of those plugins. But it's very simple plugins. looking yeah. still. You know, yeah, it's, exactly. it's just got like the gray and the yellow and it's very yeah. like two dimensional, very yeah. simple. It almost reminds me, I was thinking of this on the way here, actually, because I was thinking about this plugin and, you know, talking about it on the pod today. And it re- what it reminds me of, and I'm curious to maybe, I don't know, maybe they're working with the people over at uh, Kilo Hearts. Have you ever messed with any Kilo Hearts stuff? No. It's very, very similar mm. to Kilo Hearts. Uh, if you're familiar in the comments, I mean, let me know if I'm right or wrong, but this reminds me of Kilo Hearts stuff. They have a tape stop plugin, and it looks very very similar to the way this looks right now but it, usually it's just like one square and it's mm-hmm. even more simplified than that but it, yeah. it looks very similar i don't know Merck, are you familiar with kilo hot stuff if you see this plugin if you see yeah very flat but this tape stop right now and, the, and some of the mobile stuff that they're doing it looks like kilo hot stuff so maybe they're working with somebody over there maybe it's just a coincidence. i hope so yeah. yeah i mean any way that they can make the plugins more accessible to people that are learning about them or just people that want to see 
that kind of thing, mm -hmm. I think the better. You know, even if they incorporated that into like stuff like their phasers and flanger plugins, I think would be really cool. If you could like graphically represent what you're doing with like a chorus effect, mm -hmm. that could be nuts. Hell yeah. Like, you know how like phase is effectively, it's like the signal doubled and tripled and like put out of sync and all that stuff. Imagine if you could like mess with a knob and it would somehow like adjust like an image to sort of like show yeah. what's happening. Like this is how many voices you have in the mix as opposed to like a depth knob or whatever that would be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. convert the depth to like some sort of graphic representation. So when you see it, you're like, oh, that's yeah. five signals mixed in and, you know, split, you know, mm -hmm. I, I love how those look. So I'm just thinking. Yeah, like, it's awesome. Um, there was this like little hidden gem that I stumbled across the other day. And I don't know. I don't know how long it's been around. Mm hmm. It, it's got to be fairly new. I just don't know when. Like, you know how last week we were talking about how, how some things just, like, fly under the radar? For sure. Whenever there's, like, a massive update, like, right now, like, how we have with 21.3 and a bunch of the previous ones, you have these major ones that just, like, overshadow anything else. But usually when they do a good, you know, one point up on an update, like 21.2 to 21.3, there's a good list of new features. And I always... I always tend to miss a ton of them, mm -hmm. the smaller ones. Um, and this one is on export. So if you go to export, you go to wave, right? Or, or whatever. So now you get the window with all the export settings inside FL Studio. You normally, you have, you know, all your normal stuff, but now down at the bottom, and it's gotta be new because I, I feel like I would have I seen this. You can now have um, the option to upload to a third party service. Hmm. Have you seen oh, that? Oh, like DistroKid and stuff like that? No, or, like uh... SoundCloud. Oh, cool. No, yeah, that's got to be new. Yeah. Right now, all that all that's in there, I think, is, is SoundCloud. I don't, And you would just manage cloud accounts, it says. So right now, if you, it's just, again, like that little drop down, just like yeah. the same as Damn. all these new features that are coming in with the core generator and everything else. You that's have another cool, drop down in there and you can turn that on. You can light it up. There we go, SoundCloud. Finally right? catching up. Maybe they bought SoundCloud and we yeah, don't know about hopefully, it. Too. Hopefully they start yeah. doing something righteous with yeah. SoundCloud because SoundCloud has been losing. Yep. So you have. Oh my what's, god. What's really cool is, <laughs> yeah, they really they, they which is they messed, up. messed up because what I yeah. like SoundCloud is such a great platform, mm -hmm. but they have not capitalized on what they have. No. Like SoundCloud is great because it's not only a streaming service, but it's a social media. Yeah. And they've not capitalized at all. Yeah. Like I had like SoundCloud Pro for the longest time, but if I wanted to listen to SoundCloud without ads. That was like a different thing. Yep. So like if I wanted analytics, that was a separate subscription from if I wanted to listen without ads. And yeah. I'm like, I have to give you guys 30 bucks a month between all the accounts that like, come yeah. on, guys. But hey, you know what? Maybe FL Studio bought you. Maybe. And you got your mind right. Maybe. I'm curious as to why <laughs> only SoundCloud is in there right now as an option. That's what also makes me think this is brand new. Yeah. And. It's in the one of the last couple updates because that's cool. I, I'm, I saw it on beta and then I'm like, wait a minute, like because I've been messing with beta 21.3 mm -hmm. a bunch. And I'm like, yo, how did I notice this for the first time right now in beta? I'm like, is this another one? And then I'm going through the list again of new features in this new version. And it's not in that. Damn. So I'm like, yo, let me go back to like the my, you know, non beta version of 21.2, whatever. And it's there, too. Hmm. So I'm like, yo, when the hell did this when the hell did this drop? I'm gonna have to look up and see when it dropped. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know when it dropped. But again, in that drop down menu, you can turn it on or off to upload to a third party, which it just shows SoundCloud. But then you have another tab that says manage cloud accounts. Mm -hmm. um, and then got, like, you can Audio connect. Mac, you can automatically got? connect SoundCloud through there so you just like put in your username and password and then you can title the song and then you can put a description and then oh, you wow. can have it it says visible to everyone or only me so you mm -hmm. can put it on private and then you can upload that format as and a wave mp3 ogg or flac oh damn so you have those options and i'm assuming that they're going to expand on that a little bit more so and now especially with the integration with distrokid Mm -hmm. maybe that's an option inside there as well yeah you know right the only thing yeah i mean the only thing i'd see with that is like uh distro kit is strictly like a subscription service mm -hmm. a service where fl uh soundcloud has like free versions yeah. that anybody can kind of have mm -hmm. so that's cool yeah i'm curious to see where they're going to take that because that's that was news to me and i know i haven't been making like the amount of music that i used to so yeah it makes sense why i haven't seen it but I notice things like that. I've ex I export audio and stuff out of there all the time. So that popped out to me the other day. And I'm like, yo, I haven't noticed this at all. 
it'll be nuts when when FL store starts like incorporating like straight up distribution into mm-hmm. that export page. Yeah, like I mean, taking people like DistroKid yeah. out and just having like your your distro incorporated into your doll. Yep. Cuz I'm Crazy. assuming whatever deal they have right now with DistroKid um the way you go about it is like you have to already have a DistroKid account. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you have to sign in through sign in through your DistroKid account like through FL and right. it's like the same account. So you, I don't think you can like start a new account or anything like that. And I'm assuming that it's a type of deal where um it's probably not a forever thing. So that mm-hmm. could be an option where they just start their own distribution. I would hope so, man. You know? That would be huge. And like that that just goes even further into like the education component because if you're like so many kids don't know about like, all right, I know how to upload my music to SoundCloud, but they don't know how to get their stuff on Spotify yet. Or um, even going a step further, getting their stuff on like Luminate and BMI and ASCAP and yeah. all that stuff, like getting your stuff registered. If that's eventually part of the program where like, uh, you know, on the export tab, there's like, this is all your distribution. And then in this next little thing, you can plug in like your ISRC or like UPC codes. That'd be awesome. Hey, listen, <laughs> all I'm saying, like, is, it'd be huge because yeah. right now. Like if you go to like the, the like the Luminate, which is like the it's not like a sound scan thing, but it's like, you know, having like your sh- registered. So radio play, mm-hmm. streaming, all that stuff. It's registered that is way. Is that almost like uh like what sound exchange does in a sense? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's like um yeah, it's like it, you plug in the UPC that mm-hmm. you get from whatever your distribution gives you. And then whenever that gets pinged off on like YouTube yeah. or, you know, radio or whatever you got going on. It'll pick it up they'll you know collect on behalf if you're incorporating more and more into that you know into your your daw then i think that that's huge and these the daws like fl studio that are implementing more and more of that sort of like integration yeah. factor are just gonna win you know what i mean yeah keeping uh keeping the the borders open so to speak so yep. that way people are more able and this stuff is more accessible to people Oh yeah, because you start talking about mechanical royalties with a lot of people, and they have no clue, bro. And and people are releasing a ton of music, and they're not really being educated on that. There is like a couple of accounts and influencers that do it. Like I remember, like Cato is. I think he is still on like huge on that side of things. Yeah, where he's trying to educate people on the back end of you know getting your all your royalties because it can be like really confusing. It's like mechanical royalties, this For sure. and that, and BMI and ASCAP, and you know what's the difference between. BMI and ASCAP and me just getting uh, a check from DistroKid or a TuneCore or whatever that case is. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. people don't know that they need to be educated on that for sure. Uh, and you know, you really have to go digging to get all that information. So oh, yeah. you it'd have be to awesome watch- to have something integrated where at least maybe they point you in the right direction of somebody or something that can educate yeah. producers on that. Cause the big thing is you have to know what to even search for with that stuff. Like you have to hear it enough times where you're like, Oh, this guy mentioned uh, royalties. What is a royalty? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, I could have been getting paid. <laughs> I w- what? Yeah, <laughs> I could have been getting money. Oh, it's true. Yeah. And like BMI was down the other day. I tried to like was register it? some of my stuff and it was just like, Hey, sorry, we're down. I'm like, come BMI, on. <laughs> BMI has a very, uh, I don't know what you call it. Like, archaic i was gonna yeah that's i didn't know if that was the right word that was the word i was thinking but yeah, i don't, don't want to yeah. sound like an idiot <laughs> no it's <laughs> i sound idiotic <laughs> I, when i go on the bmi website i feel like it's i'm very like, old bro it looks like it's in the 90s yeah exactly yeah. that's what i mean when i'm on that website i almost feel like it's just like is this legit like who's <laughs> yo it looks like it's not secure it looks like it's from the 90s <laughs> yo, like, it looks yo. like uh lime wire or something right it looks like you're you on know? like some sort of like you're at like a radio station and you're Facts. like, yeah, it does. You're like, it's old school. Love my radio stations. But um, yeah, <laughs> like, I think uh, you want to play Guess That Plugin? Let's go. Let's do another round of Guess let's, That Plugin. I'll, let's do it. I have it pointed over here, so I'll go first. Yeah. I have a plugin pulled up. Let me choose a patch real quick. Let me see. Let me see. All right. We haven't done this plugin, I don't think. I'm just hitting a C. Man. <laughs> Yo, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Okay, let me. All right. Is it number one, flex? Number two, harmless? Number three, citrus? Oof. I'm going to say citrus. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think you're like 0 for 4. Yeah, yeah. LA, I'm 1 for 4. Was it harmless? Think. No. Flex. It was flex. flex. Oh, see? I tried to throw a little wrench in there and say it first. So, so yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. You yeah. won't think I'm yeah. saying it first. <laughs> little reverse psychology. You got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, you want to go? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. And then we'll, again, we'll do, um, I think I still have to announce in the comments, like, what the what the comment version of the last one was. Remember when we did oh, it right. two weeks? Yeah. I think it was two weeks ago now because we didn't do one last week. So I think I got to announce uh, who got it right and just like what it is in the comments because a, a couple of people asked me like, yo, did you ever announce the, uh, what, what the, <laughs> what, you know, what the community guess that plugin was? I'm like, oh, damn, I forgot. Too much going on. Let's announce it right now. What was that? Do you remember that? It was Sakura. It was, yeah. Sakura, Sakura. Sakura, Sakura. Yeah. You say Sakura, I say Sakura. That. Play it again. Oh, I don't even have. I don't even have like a gut feeling on this one. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me think. All right. Give me multiple choice. When All you're right. Good. Is it poison, harmless, or citrus? Oh man. One more time. Citrus. Wrong. Damn. This <laughs> this week, <laughs> it is uh, harmless. 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 Damn. That is uh, Viking three in harmless. Damn. Viking three. Yeah. That's a pretty good patch right there. I like that. Nice, right? Yeah. All right. Let's do one for the comments. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this one's for the comments. Guess that plug in comment edition again. Comment edition. It's been a couple weeks since we've done this. So in the comments, you're gonna guess that plug in. Mm hmm. Damn, what is that? What the hell? That's one plugin? Wow, I've never heard something like that. All right. I've never heard anything like that. That's weird. Like that, like a bar in, another <laughs> sound got added to it. Yeah. You could flip something like that, though. Mm hmm. All right. So, All I'm mul saying multiple choice for the comments. Multiple choice. Is it A, harmless? Is it B, harmer? <laughs> is it B, Ogan? <laughs> <laughs> Harmless, Harmer, or Ogan? You decide. Let us know in the comments what you think that is, because I have, I literally have no idea. No idea. Don't even tell me. I'll get it in the screen recording. Don't even <laughs> tell me, because I'm, I don't even know, bro. Damn. That's crazy. If somebody even knows the plug, uh, the the synth, they'll get bonus credit. Oh, which like the be... preset? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> yeah. That's that's because I love the name. The name is sick. That's crazy. Yo, you know what? A, a couple people actually like got the last one, like the community comment one. Yeah. They got it and they got the they got the preset. They some wild boys yeah. in the comments. Yo. That's wild. That... Shouts out to everybody that knows their stuff. Let's announce the winners from last week's giveaway. We'll go through last week's video again. Let me search it up real quick because I like that. I, I didn't mind that doing that. Pretty cool guy. <laughs> I'm a normal kind of, kind of guy. <laughs> I'm a cool enough guy. <laughs> All right. So this is last week's. Yes. Okay. So we got uh, over 300 comments. Sheesh. Over 300 comments. Okay. Again, I'm going to go to um, newest tab. So that way it's it shows everything. Last week's keyword was lamp. So I'm going to find, <laughs> you know, I'm going to scroll up and down, randomize it. First one that I see that commented the keyword from last week. I'm going to choose five producers. Again, five producers today are going to win my entire FL Studio course suite. Let's do it. That's All a right. sweet deal. So randomize, 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 randomize. Boom. Oh. Lamp gang boy. Let let it ride, he says. Let it ride. Re <laughs> you want to talk about names? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Real underscore big underscore shrimp. Oh, hell yeah. The real big shrimp. You I'll, are the first winner. Another one. RBS, bro. Real big shrimp. First winner. Second winner <laughs> is, um, I don't know how to say this, but the name is spelled E Z E N N A Y A U D U seven one nine nine. What in the randomization, bro? <laughs> Yo, man. I'm gonna have to scream. Some of y'all gotta make better <laughs> usernames, dude. <laughs> like, you know. I, bro, I don't even wanna. The real estate on that. <laughs> I don't even wanna attempt to butcher that one. All right, next one is David Mihamali uh, 1794. I'm probably butchering that name, but it's David M I H. A M A L A I 
one seven nine four. Winner number three. Winner number four is it's dot ruse dot r u z e. One more. One more. Ready? All right. This one is at s t v i i b. I don't know how you say that one, but that's the uh, fifth that and Stevie the final B? winner. S T V I I B. All right. So those are the five winners for this week's giveaway of my entire course catalog. Yep. Um, congrats and stick around for the keyword for this week's giveaway. That's coming soon. Ah, pull up this this Mickey Mouse. I saw that beat. one in there. This right. one is yeah, good. See, see, <laughs> this see. kid is awesome, yo. Where did you find so this? I like, found this. I guess I found in, it on Instagram. This is IG, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I found this on Instagram. And I mean, just like the intro, the hook is so good. And I just love the sample too. And this dude got the 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 velvet do rag. <laughs> I'm like, this dude is the champ. Swagged out. All right. We finna be making a Mickey Mouse type beat, bro. No cap, bro. Y'all know what the. Yo, he got hot. <laughs> he got hot dog at the top. Yeah. yeah. I have three kids. I know all about this. Yeah. I'm, about, I'm about to love it. Hot dog. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he uses the stem extractor. The horns. Yeah. Oh, he's doing some like Jersey stuff? Yeah. That's the perfect pitch. Woo. <laughs> and he likes some, like, some Jersey, like some, some vocals or something like. Nope. This is this genre's Jersey, right? Yes, Jersey Club shit. And that's the kick. That's just like strictly the kick pattern. It's just like do 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 do. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey. Yeah, that's man. crazy. Bro. Shouts out, bro. I got to show that to my kids. Yeah, they'll, they'll love, love that. that. They'll love it. <laughs> that shit's awesome. That's I love That's awesome, that. bro. He might have a kid. He's got to have a kid. <laughs> He's got to. <laughs> Mickey He's... Mouse type beat. Yeah, love listening. That. Bro, when I'm sitting there, like, listening to the, like, my kids' shows and I hear, I, I've, I've definitely gotten inspired before. Like, back when uh, my middle one was, like, in a swing, a baby swing. Mm -hmm. There was this song on the on the baby swing. Oh, yep. That was just like made by whoever, you know, the company of the swing. And I was like, yo, I got to sample that. Yep. But there was no way to like really record it well. So I just recorded it with my microphone on my phone and off the, you know, off the device, off the swing itself and just sampled it. <laughs> And just made like a you know baby swing type. Because some of them things be like bops. Like yep. that's a great. I didn't even see that dude's name to shout him out. Let's yeah. shout him out. His name is Prod by Ray Sam. I think yes. that's how you say it. Prod by Ray Sam. Shout out. Shout out. Him follow, man. That video fire. is awesome. It flip Mickey Mouse hot dog into a Jersey beat. Yeah. That's awesome creative stuff. <laughs> so um, shouts out to the online community. Yeah, bro. I mean, there's so many dope producers out there. With that being said, I think it's keyword time. Yeah. You want to do the key, you want to do the honors today? Sure. Keyword. By yeah. the way, five producers are gonna win my entire FL Studio production course suite. Yeah. And today's keyword is done none other by <laughs> my boy John <laughs> Phelps because I can't think of anything. <laughs> yeah. Today's uh, today's keyword is finger. <laughs> So you heard right. it first, folks. Run so, to the comments on YouTube. Yep. Drop the keyword in, and we're gonna randomly select a winner on the next episode. <laughs> Five winners next week. There's one more top. All right, let's I do one more. I gotta see this. This is like what is a it? quick. This is a quick one. Oh, this is Simon. This dude makes a. This is Simon Servita. Hold on. Oh, let for me, real? Let me mirror it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to recover the the session? <laughs> Your boy sweating. <laughs> Yo, dude. The ASMR of the yeah. clipboard is mad funny. That's what does it. Look at how many likes on this video, bro. Crazy. That's why it's the producer ASMR. <laughs> Didn't even listen to anything. Nope. Fun little intro as usual. 
<laughs> Yo. The chant, Fire, dude. Bro. Yeah, that that I just saw that. I was like, this this dude is sweating bullets, man. He's so good. I gotta hit him up and ask him to come on. Bro. Yeah, I, I it won't be in person, but it'll it'll probably be virtual because I think he's in Toronto. Mm -hmm. But I would love to have Simon on. He's been a good, you know, social media friend for like years now. Good mm -hmm. dude and uh, ridiculously talented. Yeah, like I mean, a clearly. real like real musician too. Like he really knows his stuff, and it would be awesome to talk to him about some just like FL and just like musicianship stuff in general. For sure, he's a beast. Yeah, so yeah, shouts um, out to Simon. Shout out Simon. Shout out the whole FL community again. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and as always, share this with a friend if you get me. Catch us in the next one.